Hi everyone! In today's video I'm doing three cards out of one stamp set and one pattern paper pack. For the images I'm using some Odd Girls Mini Mermaids. They are super adorable and perfect to kind of print a little bit smaller so that I can use them and multiple of them on the same card. So for the first a little card, I'm going to do it in teal. I'm picking out my mermaids, I'm going to choose uh, two of them and I wanted to pair them uh, so they kind of faced each other. I'm using the Do the Buck Design Pattern Paper Pack under the sea and I had done some Copic swatches to kind of match with the paper and then I'm using the same swatches for all of the images. So I picked out two uh, different papers and I'm using some MFT um, tropical teal for my mat. I'm using Nina Solar White for my um, card bases. Uh, so uh, that's uh, those things. I'm cutting them down to be um, A2 size for the card base and then I'm cutting strips that are five and a half, half long wide so they kind of go to the edge of the card. Uh, and then I try to have about a sixteenth of an inch on all my layers. So layering them together, kind of doing this striped uh, layout. And I'm using a similar striped layout on all of my cards, but with some different, different techniques. So uh, I'm using the sentiments from the MFT um, amazing stamp set because they are super awesome. And no, I was not cutting the stamp set. I was just measuring it so that I got a good size of this um, summer splash cardstock. Then I test my stamp set. I'm using some Lawn Fawn ink because I wanted not black and not like light grey. I wanted something nice in the middle and the Stormy Cloud dye ink was perfect for that. And then I'm just using my handy Funky Tape Runner by Tonic. Um, I really like it. And one thing I really like is that it does have refills. So it's much less things that go into the garbage. Uh, the previous one I used didn't have refills and I was throwing away a lot of them. I went, I go through tape runners, I go to a dozen or more a year. Um, I kind of realized that this uh, cardstock was a little bit too light on top of that uh, pattern paper. So I decided to matte it with some more of that tropical teal. I'm actually matting everything here um, in the end because I really like how that look. I really like how you then can mix and match really any kind of pattern paper because they won't really mess with each other. As long as the pattern papers have somewhat the same color scheme. These fishes, these rainbow fishes have all of the colors in the pat pattern paper stack which I really really like. Then I'm just uh, stacking everything on top of each other. I take my little mermaids and I take um, a piece of my giant uh, foam roll. This is 3M scotch tape and all of the supplies I'm using are linked in the description down below so if there's something you're wondering where I've gotten it you can find it down there. Uh, so yeah, it's also on my blog where you can find stills of all of these cards, you can find the Copic list, um, so yeah, all of that. So that's the first card uh, for today. These are the cute little mermaids. As you see, they have very different tails and that is also one thing I will go through in the coloring section, uh, how to do different kinds of tails for your mermaids. So now we go to this little cute mermaid. She has teal hair. She has a uh, kind of lime green yellow tail. Uh, and then I wanted to pair her with these purple papers because uh, you do have that green and, and teal in the other pattern paper. So I thought we can use the purple for the whole card. So I am picking out a new sentiment uh, out of the little sentiments here, kind of figuring out which will fit. 
Uh, I'm cutting down here and I'm actually cutting wrong. So I ended up cutting down my card base. Uh, I'm looking here and oh, that's, that's not how it's supposed to be. I'm basically doing a square card that was four and a quarter by four and a quarter, but I think I'm cutting it down to four and a quarter by four just because I cut the pattern paper wrong. So yeah, sometimes that happens. Um, and then I, the, uh, the cardstock I'm using is boysenberry and periwinkle. And all of the cardstock that I'm using is uh, by MFT. I really like their cardstock. They have a slight texture through them and they're very, th they're very thick, but not too thick. So um, it's becoming my absolute favorite cardstock to use. And also they have so many different colors. Uh, it's crazy. There are so many. This is when I realized that, oh, oh, uh, um, th 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 this this doesn't look right. N no, no. Um, uh, yeah, I need to redo this. I need to redo this. Um, it's kind of fun. I show you how I do. And basically, what I do here is I cut off about a quarter of the card base itself, so it now will be um, four by four and a quarter. So I, I look here and like, okay, I need to cut down everything just a slight, a slight, a slightly. Uh, and I'm gonna cut this down uh, to four also. Uh, I usually try not to cut two layers at one time, but the way it worked out, I'm cutting out a quarter of everything. Uh, this is just showing me that you can measure wrong when you're, I measure wrong all the time. Um, sometimes I redo the whole card base and sometimes I do like this and just fudging it a little bit. So uh, I'm choosing to put my kind of mermaising at the side because I know that my mermaid will uh, overlay that just a teensy little bit. Uh, when I do dimensionals I try to put my panel on my card base uh, before I put anything else. Um, be like the dimensionals because then I won't kind of smoosh it when I put the tape runner on. So yeah, that's card number two, all purplish and fine. And we're going to use the same layout again. So you see the same layout, very different using different papers. And this time uh, I'm going to switch up the sentiments again, putting the sentiment at the bottom and the pattern paper at the top. And I'm using two very muted ones. And this is because I so wanted to use the coral. Uh, I'm the lighter paper or cardstock is called, uh, the darker is called persimmon and the lighter is called coral crush. And I can tell you, these are some of my absolute favorite card stock colors ever. Um, I am going through, uh, MFT has sample packs. They have three different sample packs that you can buy. And when you buy all three of them, you get all of the cardstock that they have. Uh, so I am going through my sample packs and I actually have picked up a couple of bigger packs of some of the colors that I really, really like, uh, like the chocolate color and the tropical teal. Um, and some coral crush is coming in the mail. I really, really like it. So again, uh, I'm doing the same idea that when I'm working with my card base, I'm doing that it's the layers are touching the edge uh, of it uh, on the kind of vertical edges. And then uh, on the horizontal, I have the little white border left. And that is kind of the um, the idea of this layout. It's a very simple layout. It's a very simple uh, way of doing it. And by layering everything with the same cardstock, um, it kind of makes them come together even more. Then I put heart on the top, and that's the orange card or the coral card. 
I, I really had so much fun creating these and these mermaids are so adorable. I love some odd girl and now they're bringing out these minis that just fit perfectly on A2 cards. They are digital stamps so you can print them and you can use them how many times you want. Um, yeah, I really like these. So now to the coloring. I uh, I am using a kind of a more wintry coloring scheme for their skin. I'm using the same skin colors. So the skin colors I'm using is the E000 for the lightest, the E00, E21, E11 and E04. And all of those colors is in the description down below. So if you want to know more about that, you can find it there. Uh, all the lists of all the colors. Um, I'm also using a white gel pen um, and my gel pen of choice is the uh, yellow roll. Sorry, just jumped out of my head. The white gel roll pens. Those are my favorite ones. And I just picked up a set with the different sizes. So uh, I'm going to play around with that and see um, how the difference is. So I, I personally use size 8 because that was the one I kind of could pick up uh, in my local store. But I found the set with the 05, 08 and 10. So I'm going to try that um, later and see kind of the differences with them. So uh, I'm also adding pink cheeks on some of them and pink cheeks not on all of them and today I'm also have chosen to go in with uh, not a black pupil I'm mean, doing kind of a manga-ish pupil on these characters so they're not black instead they are the darkest in her case a dark teal um, I then do her hair and I love this hair and this is one of the things I really like with the song Odd Girl. She doesn't always put all the lines in so you can kind of just add the lines um, as you go. So I tried to work with um, empty spaces, white spaces when I color. Um, thinking in the opposite direction like here I want one of these little swirls or a little uh, I don't know lock a lock of hair uh, so then I kind of color around that lock of hair with my darker colors and leave the lock of hair being light and that is a way to build the dimension in the hair um, and these purples uh, they don't blend perfectly but I do like them for hair uh, usually colors that doesn't blend perfectly go really great to do with hair because you want that streakiness. Again, now we're going to talk about the first tail. So I started with this tail and I was going coral and I actually have tested these pens out on a smaller piece. But when it came to a bigger piece, they didn't really blend that good. The R5 and the R14 blend, but the R12 doesn't really blend that good. So my first tail is the best trick when you don't get a good blend and that is add dots because that will break up those areas and make it look like they're blending better. And also when you're working with like fishes or scaly things, uh, if you don't want to add the scales, you can always add the dots. And in this case, I'm adding some white dots and some kind of glitter effect uh, stars also, just to, to make it pop a little bit. So for my second mermaid, it is the lime green and teal mermaid. And I kind of chosen to do the tail just plain, a good old good blend. I really liked how the blend went went on this because it's a very simple blend and it's super super yellow or green. It's green. It's a light green but it's, it's super bright. Um, and I like that color. I like that color combination. Uh, there's so many different greens, greens you can kind of mix and match uh, to get like leaf greens and other ones but this electrical green is one of my favorite. 
Uh, very often I try not to work with too many bright colors because um, you want to really have them work together to be able to when you have so many, if you have a lot of different colors, you really want them to work and that can be hard sometimes. But uh, Doodle Bug, the pattern paper that I'm using, they are so good at using like five, six different bright colors together and they just go smoothly. So that is one of my biggest tips. Uh, I always, when I play with their pattern papers, my designs usually get very very colorful because the, it's so easy to just try to match those colors and make because they will go together uh, especially if you then use the pattern papers that have all the different colors that you are using in your design to give a little bit of shine i'm adding a little bit of a white pen for that so now we have our second no third and fourth mermaids that I'm coloring again I'm going in with the skin a um, few things I try to make a um, rounded shadows wherever uh, the shadow part is where the sun hits uh, just behind everything where the sun hits I do a drop shadow and drop shadows are usually much much harder a rounded shadows is kind of this soft blended look to make dimension and again with these open eyes i'm going in and giving them uh, these little pupils uh, that has just a darker color it's a manga technique and i'm using a b63 on the whites of the eyes just at the top roundness to give the eye extra little bit of roundness and then I'm doing the pinks and the pinks. This is my favorite, uh, one of my favorite, absolute favorite uh, kind of pink combinations. The RV20s are wonderful and they will always be my favorite. But this one with the RV10s and 14s and yeah, I love them. And it also gave a really cool dimension to her hair, which was awesome. Uh, then I'm going in with purples. Uh, purples, I think, is really, really hard. They don't really blend that well. And they are very few to choose from. So in this case, I'm going in with another technique of mine when I have that issue. And that is, I add some texture. In this case, small, small U-shapes to kind of just uh, play on that it scales and I'm using different colors so where it's the darkest I'm using a darker pen when it's a little bit lighter I'm using a mid-tone and then I'm using the lightest where the lightest is uh, Copics will have a slight layering so as because they're not opaque they're translucent uh, whenever you add a second layer on something that has dried you will get a um, kind of a ghost image of what you do. So if you add texture to something, uh, you can do that with um, just carefully going over uh, with that kind of texture on top. But you do want it to have dried before. Otherwise, um, your texture will be much, much softer if it will show at all. Because if it's dry, the ink won't spread as much anyhow but if it's um, wet the ink will spread and kind of spread out and you will not get that uh, sharp texture so for the last mermaid i went a little bit ariel with the red hair and then i'm giving this blotches because that is also a way to texture a fish so yeah those were my four mermaids and these are my three cards I hope you liked the video. If you did, please thumbs it up. If you have any questions, just comment down below. Down below you find all the details for all the cards. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!